Hi friends, welcome back. In this particular video, I am going to show how to write patterns using Python programming language. If you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that tiny little bell icon to get notified each time I post a video. So let's get started. So this is the pattern, our target pattern. We are going to achieve it using Python programming. So let's let me save this file first of all with the name pattern.py. Save it. As you can see, the color of this hash has been changed because this represents a comment in Python programming. So no issue for our program. So let's begin with a print statement. I'm going to print hash and let's run this program first i'm in desktop let me make ls type interpreter python and call the program pattern.py you got s printed on your terminal so now loop this for i in range say we need to get so one two three four five so five one two three four five so the range should go like this five it starts from zero and ends with four so totally we are going to get five save this and test your program again yes you got one two three four five ashes so to make this a stairs kind of or a half a pyramid kind of structure we need to loop one more uh, parameter say j in range of i we will debug line by line don't worry about that first let me complete the program so first i starts with 0 and j starts with 0 the range of i go here every time so whatever the i j is going to iterate and print that many of times so after this I'm going to print empty print statement because I because each time this this the default print will bring the statement to next line it's a, by default it is new line character it ends with new line so let me compile this run let's run so there you go I got one and two three Four. they're all clubbed together they're all clubbed together so this this is what print the empty print is doing it is leaving the empty line between each set of groups now how do I make the pyramid kind of structure of a pyramid kind of structure stays like structure so we have a parameter of inside a print so that is end if you are a C or C++ uh, plus plus programmer you will be wondering how to uh, write a print statement in a single line so to do that you need to use a parameter say end and by default it is next line character so to skip it just make it a blank or a space okay now let's run this program let me clear the screen pattern and there you go I got one two three four so where is five we needed five but I'll tell you what so we are not going to get 5 if we are writing here 5 we are let me add plus 1 here now let's see see now we have 1 2 3 4 5 and we got our ultimate result and you can also see the 0th portion it is left blank it is empty we have not written any sort of empty print statement at the first line so why still it is printing because at first iteration the i is going to be 0 and the range will not pick up it will skip it and it will print this first empty line so that's why we are getting here empty so in the first again I'll repeat in the first iteration we are not going to run this because it is 0 it's on it only run uh, say n minus 1 so if I'm going to give 5 in this iteration I have 6 here in the 6 here it will iterate five times not the sixth time so that's the reason 
this code will not execute for the first iteration due to I, I, IV is going to be 0 and it will print empty line at the beginning and it iterates iterates and finally we are going to get this okay so uh, wh how what, what if I replace this hash with a number say I will take uh, 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 one variable say num is equals to uh, 5 or 6 and is going to be my num and I'm gonna print number here let's try this code so there you go I got 6 6 6 6 6 why I'm getting 6 so because I have declared number as 6 here um, and hence I'm getting 6 so there's nothing to do with that so to get 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 what you're gonna do is this is this is the thing so this is I you have I start from 0 and end still 5 so let's try with I let's run the program so there you get so 1 2 3 3 4 4 4 4 and 5 5's Oh, and we can try another type of pattern. We'll reverse this. We'll reverse this. Uh, I mean, uh, like, <coughs> like this. We'll reverse the count, just like this. How do we do that? It's, it's very simple, and the logic is same to same. But the thing is, we need to change our range. The range has a three parameters start stop and skip so so that is step that is step okay start i'm going to start with the num okay i'm going to end with zero and my skip uh, my steps is going to be minus one each time so it will come from uh, the, the reverse way it comes from the reverse way so let's test this go back to your terminal run the program and there you go and there you see so this is a v print patterns using python programming language so you can replace this range with any kind of characters you want and and um, you can make still more uh, beautiful structures using python so everything is possible in any sort not just python in any sort of language you are um, familiar with so thank you for watching this video please give a thumbs up share this video and don't forget to subscribe so i'll come on the next day with a new fresh python concept so till that take care bye bye